Good morning, duelists. We are, it is Saturday morning, okay? We're on our way to our very first OCG locals in Obihiro. The sun is really bugging. Um, we'll just have to do this video bit by bit. You'll definitely get a, uh, a recap and a deck profile after. So, uh, should be coming up like right next. All right, guys. Um, I'm back with a tournament update. I went to my first, oh, as you saw, I went to my first, um, OCG locals here in Hokkaido today. We had four rounds and to sum it up, it was awesome. Um, we had what, like 10 people showed up, um, really good vibe good energy the uh store that it was held at is really nice um, there's a big there's a nice big play area kind of set aside for Yu-Gi-Oh and other card games that they do so really nice just a really good experience um met some good guys that I'll probably test and keep learning from as we go on, but it's nice. It's, I can't express how nice it is to be off to a good little start here um, in Japan on this, on this OCG journey. As for how I played and how the deck did, um, I did not play well and the deck also felt pretty rough against the meta. This is, this is not like your, you know, local, local, we have little 13 year old Billy playing, you know, structure deck, sacred beasts. This was like my first duel. I got cleaned up by sprites. Okay. Absolutely mopped. And so, and then Lyrilus Cry was the next match. And then I couldn't even take a game off harpies. That's how... No, that wasn't that. Um, that was games we played later, but I didn't win those either. Who did I play in round three? Ten E Sword Soul. Um, yeah, just just brutal. I'll kind of give my thoughts of how I felt like the deck performed and changes I'd make as I go. But uh, yeah, we did get some sleeve upgrades, um, which are pretty awesome. I've had these. I've been holding on to them for a while. Then these are just some. OCG uh, sleeves that I ordered and you know thought they're really good for the main deck. We have some decent outer sleeves too so I think we can roll with this for now. Let's start with the main deck okay. So I ran one of her, one of a uh, White Castle Labyrinth, Shirogane no, uh, Shirogane no Shiro no Labyrinth. Um, I would not run more than one of her in your hand, it's horrendous, okay? Um, Labyrinth, uh, Ariana, three of these. It's a must on the three of, okay? This is, you wanna have her on the field, you wanna normal summon her or special summon her, and then have her on the field for the opponent's turn. Um, I only have one Arianu. Um, but I think you have to play the second one just because you really want to see one of these guys in your opening hand. You might even play three, which is why for now I'm playing a stove. I think, uh, I think two stove is pretty okay. You're pitching it and also like discarding one is cost usually. So, um, to like set a spell or trap, right? And so... This is just another way to get into, you know, one of your starters. It's just a little bit more expensive. Um, two backjacks. Okay, absolute king backjack. I... Ugh, the problem is, like, if you... Like, it's almost good to run three of these, because then you're pitching this guy more often. If you go three and three... Um, if you're running more stuff that discards as cost, 
This way you're not like normal summoning him. You're trying to get him to the graveyard, right? But you don't want to normal summon him and link him into the graveyard. And so it's just like kind of weird, but I think it's necessary because it gives you a little bit of a power boost to get to the trap cards you need. And so I'm gonna, I think I wanna start, I wanna test a little bit playing three. Um, three max C, pretty necessary to play three max C here. Um, there's a lot of like answers people have in their decks for it between like Ash Blossom called by and cross out. And so it doesn't, it only resolved a couple times today. Um, but it, it is strong, but it's hard to capitalize on Max C in this deck because I cannot end the game in a turn like other decks can. And so that's what I found was I was really struggling with. I could stop someone's turn, but I couldn't like finish the game. And it was really frustrating. Three Ash Blossom, probably, I don't know, the best card in the deck feels like. No, 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 no. And one Lord of Heavenly Prison. Now this card was actually really good. I want to run two of him, okay? Um, I might even go three. This might even be my power card that can get me to just those blowout spell and traps. It gets me to extravagance to gain advantage, or it gets me into an out that I need, or like a floodgate. I think you almost want to be on two or three of this because you're desperately trying to find ways to end the game and gain advantage. And this might, even though it can be kind of awkward sometimes, I think it's like a way to raise the power level of the deck. So that's it for the monsters for now. Um, it needs work. Two, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, the field spell. Honestly, nothing on the field spell even resolved today. Um, I don't know. I think I'm playing the deck incorrectly and in what I'm searching for and what I'm prioritizing between these. Nothing seems like heaps better than the other. I'm still trying to figure out what's the best card to be like summoning off Welcome Labyrinth and stuff. And so I'm still learning a lot. Um, Pot of Extravagance, awesome card. You don't really care too much about the extra deck. We're running to Call by the Graves because our Welcome Labyrinth has to resolve as well as a Cross Out Designator. Um, Harpy's Feather Storm, another Cross Out target. Cross Out was really good today, actually. Um, because there's just a lot of deck. There's a lot of cards that are just in every deck. Three Welcome Labyrinth. This is the most important card in the deck. You have to get to it as fast as possible. It needs to resolve. Um, and don't forget that you can uh, reset it again, right? Two copies of Trap Trick. Um, I think two is great. It's good to get to Welcome Labyrinth. Punishment's kind of like one of our best, you know, traps to remove our opponent's monsters off the field. I think we definitely stay at three. Um, compulse is kind of like the next best thing for getting stuff off the field. You can see that I cut Torrential. I was finding that when I Torrential, you know, I don't have an effect to resolve after I remove opponent's monsters. Um... Two impermanence, just a hand trap to help lighten my load a little bit. And we've inserted two copies of Paleozoic Dynamiscus. Um, this is also good as discard fodder for back check. Um, another way to get to him so you can stack your deck and find the traps and kind of get a little power jump that your opponent is not expecting. It's hard to read. And so. This is, I mean, this is 40 cards. This is what we ran today. And it was just, it needs tweaking. It needs some testing. I need to theorize a little bit. There's new cards I'm getting, like 
Um, there's a car that's called, it is a Labyrinth car that's a lot, it's like a Arch Fiend Glitch. And that's a really good, uh, another good removal card. Um, so maybe we're able to cut some of these and just put another good removal in. Um, Vanity's Emptiness is something I'm really, I'm waiting for it in the mail, as well as I want to start testing which floodgates are going to be the best um, between like rivalry goes in um, there can be only one I'm trying to find like I think rivalry could be an option I have to take a closer look at the meta decks right now but um, it could or goes in goes in could actually also be an option yeah um, but yeah, we just, ah, and uh, as well as summit, Summon Limit is also something that um, I think would hurt Splite or Sprite quite a bit. Um, just some floodgates that you can skip that are a little bit more, not more difficult to play around, but I think Sprite is going to struggle a little bit, especially the pure version on dealing with floodgates, maybe, probably not. Um, Probably something I'm not seeing, but my sprite deck is in the mail, so we'll be uh, learning and I'll be able to test. So that's the uh, that's the forty card main. I just it needs a lot of work, um, and I think I just need a. I'm I'm still learning the deck and figuring out like how to play it and what I need to prioritize. Um, the side deck is fine for what, you know, I've been able to assemble so far. Three copies in Nibiru. Three copies of Droll. I didn't really side this in today. Cosmic, probably gonna cut it. Um, it was like a cross out target, but no one's running cross out. Or no one's running Cosmic. Lightning Storm. Um. This is the most popular side deck card at the moment, evenly matched. I got even lead. I think every match I did get even lead. So, um, I need to look out for that. And a D barrier was also a really good card today. Um, was ending turns, you know, that lingering effect is powerful. We'll get to the uh, extra deck here. We have three copies of Ents. I don't know how we ended up with an Ultra and two Supers, but I guess it's okay. Um, we always want to have it available for Dogmatic Cup Punishment, even if we Extravagance were sick. Six, uh, Fossil Skull Knight, um, kind of like a niche card. Pegasus, I might even put a second Pegasus in. It's quite good, actually, and it really gets people to think or catches them off guard. Omega could be cuttable um, if I find something really good, but this deck is just never going into the extra deck. Um, for the Lynx, we have Anima. No one played into this today. People just naturally avoid, you know, those, um, the zones ex under the extra monster zone. Link Karibo, Nightmare Phoenix. Um, dark Cerberus for the last Link 2 just in case you know you need to get one, rid of one more card Nightmare Unicorn um, Access 500 yen it's like $4.50 secret rare access code talker pretty nice um, pretty hard to make though um, Goddess of the Closed Underworld you know, and a uh, FGD five-headed dragon, so we can punishment anything granted. Anything that's like higher than three thousand probably isn't getting destroyed by card effect anyways. But you know, we uh, I guess we're prepared. So that's the deck. Um, it's rough, but today was a 
it was fun getting there and uh, just playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I've taken maybe like a two month break. I haven't really played a match. Um, reading text is still a little bit slow, but I'm getting faster at it. And the terminology, I've been asking a lot of questions so I can be more fluent in the game in Japanese, right? Um, but yeah, it was good. Uh, thanks for watching. Just a major success today. I'm excited to go back next week with some new cards. We're gonna bring this. We're gonna run this strategy back 1,000% because um, we're gonna have a lot of changes, and I'll be sure to update you guys on that. Um, thanks for watching. Um, this is the participation pack. You get like two cards, and I happen to get a uh, Predator Plant token, so it's pretty cool. Other than that, uh, take care. We'll uh, see you next time, guys.